Well, Chris Crowell has played veterans cricket for Australia. Chris, how old are you? Uh, 63 today. 63. Yeah. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you. And uh, you play cricket with your dad? Yep, dad and I opened the batting not long ago. And how old are you, Doug? 88. 88. Why have you played so long? Because I love cricket. The fact that the veterans came into it was a godsend to me because I was able to keep up with them. I started Vets Cricket off in Tamworth. They uh, rang me up and uh, said, would I get a few players? They wanted to have a match and... Uh, you said, I'll get my son. <laughs> no, he was too young then. Oh, was he? <laughs> Chris and I have put a lot into seniors cricket and got it to where, well, got it to where it is in Tamworth. Is there over 80s? No, because we can't get any bowlers. No one wants to bowl? Well, not, no, they can't bowl fast enough. <laughs> I hate getting bowled. Do you? Yeah, I'll get out any other way, but I hate getting the, the, giving the bowler the privilege of saying that he bowled me and that's uh, something I think that, that uh, makes me so determined to, uh, to stay in there. People ask me, how, how's Doug going? And I say to them, don't worry about Doug, he'll outlive me. <laughs> I would have probably been dead by now. Cricket has really uh, given me a, you know, a, something to think about and uh, trying to achieve. People say to you, gee whiz, I hope that I'm still playing at your age. And, I think, oh, well, I'll go on a few more years and see if they'll catch me. Cricket means a lot to him, for sure. Always has and always will. What's it about the cricket that you love? Meeting different people, going to various places to play. Uh, if you put your name down and in the position that I am in as a retired and I haven't got to worry about work, I, I um, can go if they want me anywhere I'll, I'll, I'm there. I've played in uh, Samara, I've played up in Darwin with the touring teams and uh, I've played for Victoria when they were short and I've played for South Australia when they were short. You've done a bit of touring then? Yeah. So what goes on the road still stays on the road, Doug? Well, I suppose that's me right, yes. <laughs> well, not much goes on the road. <laughs> <laughs> not, not at our age. <laughs> Do you wear um Yes, wear I, wear, I wear one of those. Do you? Yeah. I can tell you a funny story about that yeah. if you've got time to listen. I have. For the first match that I played in, we went into a store at Tamworth that week and bought some cricket gear. And one of them was a protector. When it was my turn to go out to bat, they said, well, Doug, you better put this in. So I put it in and walked over and climbed through the fence and walked out and it's <laughs> down around my knees. I grabbed it and pushed it back up and put it in place and pulled my belt up and away I went. It wasn't long after, it was down there again and I'm pushing it at it and holding, trying to hold it in and walking out with my bat and holding this thing in here. We never wore underpants. We're coming off the war, <laughs> so no one wore underpants. And you try and keep a protector in with no underpants. <laughs> Cut that. 